be all right for the future for quite a few years because there's a belief that, right, okay, we were in a good space and let's not just try and, you know, be happy with, you know, what we've got. There's lots of music coming out of Sheffield. Uh, lots of dance music, electronic music. I think we're always going to be there, the electronic musicians. It's very healthy because we've got like a creative foundation um, finally in Sheffield and a network and a culture that exists outside of anything that we do and it's never had that. There's a venue to suit every type of thing, whether it be going to see Drake at O2 or going to see Phil Parrish at Hope Works or whatever, it's like everything that way. Once upon a time it didn't. It's going to get stronger and stronger because it's not just about the nights, there's also a very diverse pool of producers as well as DJs now coming through, young producers and DJs who are going to be a big part of the scene. I definitely think there's a, um, a lot of really hard-working creative people in the city that are really trying to do good things, put on great events and do it for really good reasons. And so as long as the people are here trying and they're just given the ability to implement their plans and their ideas, so long as they're given that chance, then there's no reason we can't keep growing and changing. People still keep putting out good stuff. Like the Arctic Monkeys tried to kill us all off, but it hasn't done. <laughs> well, not that they tried to, but you know what I mean? That, that, you know, that sort of overshadowed everything, but people will just be working on electronic stuff and making weird noises and bleeps and songs for, forever, I guess. The way that we like to do it with uh, different venues each time is getting harder and harder cause, because they're cleaning up everywhere. There's just the industrial sites left, which are some of the best, but they are hard, they, you know, the councils are making it harder for people to get those venues there, approaching landlords and telling them not to hire them out for these events. And the clubs don't like it because the parties are so good, they're taking people away from the club. So and there's still a, a very fine balancing act that, that needs to, that we need to address. But I think everything will find its place. I guess it's just kind of bringing like a, a lot stronger lineups to like just little spaces, make them more unique because there's not any massive clubs or like super like places to put people on. I guess it's kind of making it more acceptable for bigger artists to come to Sheffield and like people being aware of it rather than the same old, same old thing going on. If Sheffield's lacking anything, it's lacking a really big thing that people from outside tangibly recognise and come to to hear for, like it had with the Gatecrasher era and and other like NY Sushi before it and things like that. We've had huge seminal nights that people travelled from out of town to come to, which I don't think we have that at this point. But it's lacking it, but I'm not sure if it misses it either. People are making great music and there's outlets fit to do it. I don't think the city needs a great deal more than that really. You know, infrastructure in terms of like management and all that nonsense kind of exists here. So there's no reason why it's not as on a par with the cities right now. Personally, my ambition is hopefully to one day get a little venue, free capacity. And I've always wanted, since going for the first time to Fabric in London and hearing that Martin Audio sound system, my, my thing I think that's lacking is a venue with a proper Martin Audio sound system. The hopes I have for it are already happening and they, already, they always have and therefore I kind of think they will and it's just that young people get exposed to a wide variety of music and become creative and you know make their own music without being influenced by one thing. You better be influenced by ten things and this is a, a good place to do that. I just hope that the younger generation keep the ethos that people like Winston have created and I think they will because there's a lot of youngers that come to the Rickabara Waves or whatever that are super young that I've never seen and they get as excited as I did when I was 18. And I think that force and that energy and that honesty of the music here will hopefully just kind of struggle through all the younger generations and keep going and going because it's super special and it's unknown and it's pure and it's honest. You can't really kill something like that. So hoping that that will continue on for the next 20 years. <laughs>